David Weck here. In this video, I'm going to teach you another exercise to get you started performing the double down pulse. It's the fastest way that you could possibly sprint. It gives you better agility on the ground. It's not swinging the arms. What it is, is it's pulsing the arms. They both come down. It's a connective tissue game. It takes muscular relaxation and body alignment to perform it. But once you know it, you'll never go back to swinging. Ever go back to swinging because it's slower and it costs more energy. So, you're going to set it up with what we call the B fist and you snap your finger, you keep the middle finger straight, you make like the shape of a bird if you were to cast a shadow and it's very relaxed and it's like you're holding a drumstick. So this middle finger, it's not bent, it's straight and just very relaxed, it's like you're holding a drumstick. Now, the reason why we set you up with this one first and then you're going to evolve it into whatever feels the best for you, but this is your start with the drumsticks, is because what we need to do to capture the full power of the pulse is we need to have this alignment of the wrist. It's a pronation, so it's not a supination, it's a pronation, and the wrist is angled here so that this, the strongest part of the heel of the hand, that outside, is in line with this knuckle of the index finger. So that alignment with a little bit of this angle here is what allows us to capture, capture and return the pulse. If we don't set the hand up well, then we dissipate and lose some of that pulse. It's not as powerful. So that's why we're doing this setup right here. And go back to just the basic drumstick exercise if you need to you know, work on that. But this one's a lateral shift. So we really want to work on this, this pulsing power to boom, to boom, to, to send it from the outside to the inside. You'll translate it into forward motion, any motion, whichever motion. Once you learn how to pulse, you'll be hitting the ground harder, faster, getting it off, and boom, you're faster than you've ever been before. So for this drill, what you're going to do is you're going to line up head over foot. Don't worry about this leg. It can be in here. It can be whatever. Just get your head over this foot here. This hand is going to be up here like this. I want this hand crossed over, crossed over. Don't. Do it like this. You're not going to be able to capture as much unless we bring it to boom. And you want to think in terms of you're going to hit them both right in front of that foot. When you apply it to actual sprinting, it's going to take care of itself where it's going to be. It's going to come more midline than you're used to if you're like most who run like this. The midline is where it wants to go. That's the alignment of the body. It's faster. It's more powerful. It's more efficient. So for this exercise, again, Line up, head over foot. You want to think spine and shin angle the same, and then you're going to pulse and boop, bring it across boop, to the other side. So looks like this if I'm just doing it back and forth. So I'm here, got the alignment, and boom, 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 boom. Most of the movement is side to side. So a little bit of forward travel, but what I really want to emphasize is that powerful side to side. So boom. Boom, and you're letting it happen. Don't, don't try to jump. Don't try to jump and beat it. Let the pulse, boom, happen, and then boom, the up just happens because you've, boom, transferred that force clean. The jolt goes right down, back up, boom. If you're having trouble with it, which many people can in the beginning, Go back and use the RMT clubs to really learn how to send the jolt and get that rotation and full intent. And the club will also give you the knowledge, the body knowledge of this angle here. That angle. So it's here, consistent with here, 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 just like, just like that. And where you will go from here after you've set it up with this relaxed, what we call the B fist, is you'll derive and figure out what, what your hands do best for you. So there's not a specific prescription of like, oh, your hands have to be this way. If you look at Deion Sanders, who's one of the fastest, most agile people to ever run and sprint the face of this earth, his hands are always like this. He's always got that expression with that angle and his fingers are straight, always. 
I'm talking leisure, I'm talking commentating on the NFL, putting his, his hand through the Hall of Fame jacket. He is always here, go on the internet, Deion Sanders images, look at his hands. His hands are always here because he did this naturally. If you watch Usain Bolt, he doesn't set it up optimally, he doesn't even know he's doing it, and he certainly isn't coached to do it, but what he does, Usain Bolt, is he will come here, arm goes very straight, so he's breaking those rules, and when he comes here, the elbow pulses down. So he's not capturing the full power of it, but his elbow comes down, and then he comes up, and the evidence that it is, in fact, a pulsing action is that his shoulder comes up. If your shoulder comes up, it means there was a down pulse to bring it up. Because if you're swinging the arm, you're swinging the arm, that swing movement does not bring the shoulder up. That swing movement, it's not natural, it won't happen on its own if you're swinging to bring that shoulder up. The shoulder only comes up when there's that pulsing action. And when you learn to do it specifically, to set up the hands perfectly, to line up the head over the foot, to boom, make it your intent, now it's even more powerful than the way that Usain Bolt does it naturally. Think about that. You can tap into your own personal potential greater than the way that Usain Bolt does it. He'll still beat you in a race, doesn't matter. He'll run backward, he'll beat you in a race. But you can make yourself faster than you've ever been before by learning the double down pulse. I wanna give you the motivation to persevere and make it happen for you. And all you gotta do is get one. All you gotta do is boom, get it, boom. Use the boom, power pulse. Go check out other videos to learn more. Look forward to seeing you move faster than you've ever moved before.